this has got the old green style, I believe it's called ethylene. Um, uh, coolant, which is toxic, not as good for cooling, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to be flushing the coolant system with distilled water and vinegar and just keep flushing, flushing, flushing until it's just clear fluid coming out of the water pump there. Um, and then refilling it with, I believe, propylene, the like blue engine ice. It's, it's better, non-toxic, it's better for cooling, everything like that. So I've got the next step done here, uh, the right side fairings off. Um, but interestingly, the right side here only has the reservoir. It doesn't have the water pump, so at least on my 2004 Gixxer here, you have to take the left side fairing off too uh, to access the water pump here. Now, the manual says that it doesn't actually have a, a drainage nut for the coolant. Um, what, you, what they say is that you have to take the radiator hose here and disconnect the band clamp and pop it off, drain it, pop back on, refill the system. So, got the line disconnected here. Um, the, as soon as I started just wiggling it loose, it, uh, it immediately popped off and started spraying everywhere, which I did not expect. Um, so good idea to have a drop sheet in case of uh, spilling toxic and hard to clean up chemicals everywhere. So at least I had that. Um, but as you can see, it's this really dark, um, thicker looking fluid. So it, it was in desperate need of a flush anyway. So I've got my distilled water uh, and in lieu of a funnel, I've just got a cooking measuring cup here. Uh, and here's my 50-50 mix of vinegar and distilled water. So when I disconnected the radiator cap there, I could hear some more uh, coolant down below coming out the hose. So make sure that your uh, collection pot, your pan, whatever, is still down there and not overflowing. So now I'll be pouring my 50-50 mix of water and vinegar into it. Um, and then just make sure you listen for water coming out the other end and then uh, go see see what's coming out Okay, now I can start to hear it Okay, there you go. It's still green So just try and flush it. Just keep keep going back and forth flushing it yeah, Looking good So now what I'll be doing is reconnecting the hose here, uh, uh, cinching it down so that you've, you've got a closed circuit. Then I'll be topping up the reservoir with more of my 50-50 mix of vinegar and distilled water. I did that flush and down into the bucket. I reseated the hose and clamped it back on. So now I've topped it back up with my distilled water and vinegar solution. I'll run the bike for 10 minutes so that it can cycle through the system. I'll let it cool and then I'll pop the uh, hose off again to drain it out. So I've let the bike cool down for an hour. I've detached the hose and drained the vinegar distilled water solution out. And uh, as you can see, it's still very green with ethylene. And so what I'll be doing is reattaching the hose, uh, filling it back up with the vinegar water solution. And instead of 10, 15 minutes, I'll just let it run for a minute just to circulate through it and then drain it uh, and I'll just keep repeating that basically so that it doesn't get too hot and I can just keep flushing 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 until it's clear. So we are on the third flush now and as you can see it's looking much more clear but still very green so uh, I'll just do a few more flushes and then I'll show you the final result. So I've gone through about five or six flushes now just simple things run it for three minutes turn it off flush it repeat and uh, it's mostly clear as you can see. There's an ever so slight green tint, but for the most part it's clear. You know, clear enough to throw propylene in my opinion. So I'm pretty well done with the coolant flush. I've done six flushes and all and it's looking much, much more clear. Uh, uh, so what I ended up doing is emptying out the leftover uh, distilled water on the sixth flush there and then overnight I just let it any droplets and remnants uh, settle to the bottom so I'll pop the hose off one more time get any uh, leftovers out uh, finalize it put it back on reattach it and then fill up the system with propylene so the reservoir here is held on by one 10 millimeter bolt so I'll be removing that 
disconnecting the overflow hose going to the reservoir, uh, taking it off, and then filling it with my 50-50 mix of distilled water and vinegar. I'll shake it up, uh, flush it through any of the lines to make sure the ethylene is completely out, uh, make sure it's empty obviously, reinstall it, and then I'll be topping it up with the propylene. So I've pretty well finished the coolant flush. I did six flushes in total. That's really unnecessary for your average coolant change, but given that the oil filter's never been changed, uh, one can guess that the coolant's never been changed either. So given how dark this is, how much uh, particulate was in it, I wanted to go the extra mile, especially considering that I'm switching from ethylene to propylene. So here's flush one and two. Here's flush three and four, so clearly big difference. And then here's flush five and six. I've got my engine ice here. That's pretty. It's a purple. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, I like that. Royal purple is my favorite color, so I definitely fucks with that. Man, I love that. That is such a cool color. I mean, you probably shouldn't pick your uh, performance fluids based on color, but it's a nice bonus. All right, I would say that's pretty good. Top up the reservoir here, the rest so that I don't get a bunch of bugs and stuff in it while I wait. So the coolant flush and changeover from ethylene to propylene is now done. Um, as you saw in the last clip, I was topping it up. What I ended up doing was putting the cap back on the radiator, uh, started the bike up to, to just run uh, everything through, try and get the bubbles to the top of the system there. And then I gently tilted the bike back and forth, trying to you know, uh, loosen any bubbles, get it to the top. And I did that a few times, topped it up, ran it, tilted it, and uh, kept going until uh, subsequently when I took the cap off it was full. At that point topped up the reservoir and now we are good to go.